hello everyone welcome back to my channel so do you find yourself sometimes just spending hours and hours scrolling on social media Instagram Facebook you know having important things to do but yet just caught up in social media and at the end of the day how do you feel about it so guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Chinere. I talk about self-development, studying abroad journey. I talk about motherhood. I also talk about skincare. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please join the family. Click on the subscribe button. And yeah, let's jump onto this video. Welcome back guys. So let's get onto this video. So talking about social media, guys. <laughs> Let me first share my own experience because usually I like to start with myself before diving into something important. Guys, I would wake up in the morning, have so much things to do, have my goals, have my plan set out for the day, and I would probably end up accomplishing maybe just one or two. Because I spend most of my time on Instagram. Guys, I have no problem with social media, absolutely no problem with social media. As long as using social media to make money, get vital information that benefits your life, that's no problem. But if you're sitting on social media, scrolling, comparing your lives with other people, wishing, thinking, guys, that it's an absolute waste of your time. And not just your time, your life. I bet you I've been there I've done that and I have sat down one-on-one -on -one, spoken to myself and said no this has to stop this really has to stop so let's talk about it let's talk about it let's talk about social media addiction what is social media addiction in my understanding it's a behavioral problem it's a behavioral problem it's a behavior it's a habit you just get used to it over time over time over time and so it is just the excessive use of social media. I have a proper definition. Social media is a behavioral addiction that is defined by being overly concerned about social media, driven by an uncontrollable urge to log in or to use social media, and devoting so much time and effort to social media that it impairs on other parts of your life guys this one this this definition is just it this is what I'm trying to point out so guys over the years um, I have tried to see push uh, I have tried to view social media as a good thing but at the same time as a bad thing but I do a bit of business on on Instagram but then you know Instagram is not my it's not my main source of you know income you know what I mean? I could sell things via um, Instagram, but then it's not its not something that gives me the million in my bank account right now. <laughs> so that is why we need to address this addiction. And this is 2023. It's February. It's a new year. Yes, but still, we have goals to accomplish. Yeah, we have things we want to check you know on our checklist we have boxes to be ticked social media should not be standing in your way of achieving your dreams in this 2023 and guys that is why that's the reason why i'm making this video let's talk about it how do you know you're you're addicted to social media i think number one you wake up in the morning you have goals to achieve of course you have things you have to do but you end up spending hours on social media just like i used to do not anymore guys it's over <laughs> that's when you know you're starting to be addicted to social media spending hours on social media comparing your life to others wishing on other people's life or probably wishing to be like other people perfect body perfect relationship perfect marriage guys there's one thing you need to understand in life there is no perfection all those people you see online portraying perfection my dear you don't know what happens in closed doors you don't know the bascules that a lot of people take in their relationship you don't even know what challenges these people you think that are looking perfect on on social media you don't know what challenges they are going through I bet you they might even be going through worse more challenges than you ever know so guys the second reason 
or the second point <laughs> that you know you're addicted to social media is when it's impairing other part of your life it is distracting you especially your physical webbing sometimes I joined the gym I think in January and I remember um, spending some time on social media and I just paid some amount of money for this gym and I'm sitting my butt in bed you know going through social media when I should be having actual physical exercises that's gonna boost my mental and physical health oh god guys you guys need to take this serious in 2023 no more we have to cut down the use of social media please guys this is very important especially for the young people especially for students especially for even young mothers at home you could spend your time doing so much important things than just sitting scrolling and wishing on social media and so the third point on how you know that you're addicted to social media is when you are restless and you feel pissed off if you're not able to access social media I think there was a time um, whatsapp kind of shut down was it whatsapp yes I remember it was whatsapp whatsapp shut down and I had to phone a friend hello guys is your whatsapp working <laughs> and for I think an hour no one could access whatsapp and we felt really weird that's the restlessness I'm talking about okay how about if you don't have access to internet connection for a while what if your network just kind of like blanks out how do you feel for hours are you comfortable that's when you know you're addicted to social media <laughs> guys this is funny but it's not funny in this 2023 we have goals we have things to we, we have to do things to make our life better you know we we dream of a perfect life we dream of achieving things in our life but we cannot just achieve these things if we're sitting on social media every day and the fifth reason when you know that you are addicted to social media um, is when even if you turn social media off on for a day or two you're running back to it the next day guys this has to stop this really has to stop so guys let me share with you two things I did to curb this addiction to social media the first thing is I learned to log off no not even log off I learned to delete guys I would just wake up and say well today that's enough for this week and boom Instagram is out I'm so happy I deleted Facebook couple of years ago let me say yes about two years ago and i've never really gone back to scrolling on facebook or even participating on facebook i know people make money on facebook but jesus that is for them you know um and so i just i just check out and i i don't just log off because of course i do have an account i can always log in but guys i delete the app from my phone that's the first thing i do to get control to get control over my life you know to get over this addiction and so Instagram like I mentioned previously Instagram has been my biggest you know um, challenge because I feel like with Instagram I there's quite a lot of information you get on Instagram but then you know it could be good information bad information there are a lot of bad information I get from Instagram that really affects my mental health and I don't even want to go there so Instagram has been one big hell of a challenge, you know, I'm deleting it a couple of times I'm really stalling it when I feel like there's certain information I need to um, Derive or get from there and so yeah, but then aside logging in and logging out or just you know Deleting the app and really stalling it when you feel like it the other way you can control the use of social media is by limiting the number of hours you spend on social media there's a way to do this on iPhone I use an iPhone so I could really talk about iPhone so when you go to your settings um, you go to the use like your usage settings something like that and then um, I remember just limiting my use for Instagram for um, one and a half hour daily and so when I kind of you know scroll on Instagram and it's getting to maybe it, it it sends me a reminder and says you have just five minutes remaining to use you know Instagram and I'm like okay 
and then I just get out because maybe I want to keep that five minutes to use it for you know later in the evening or so and with this I am able to you know uh, minimize just that use you know because you just feel you sit there and you just feel lost scrolling 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 on social media and that time is just going by and guys I think it's very important like if you also feel like social media or Instagram or Facebook is a means of entertainment I don't disagree with you but guys do you know there are other means of entertaining yourself how about a reading Jesus I have a lot of books in my house I can't even remember opening anyone you know so reading is also a form of entertaining yourself and it's not just entertaining yourself it opens up your mind you know guys so let us look for other ways to entertain ourselves aside special spending time or excessive time on social media how about just visiting your friends who live you know your neighbor you know getting to know someone else than just being on Instagram scrolling speaking to strangers people who don't even mean anything to you how about just you know jumping into your car driving out to see a friend you know keep your real relationships alive than being caught up in the whole social media thing you know so guys this is very important like i mentioned 2023 this is my year i don't even know about you all <laughs> But there are a lot, quite a lot of things I want to achieve this year and that's why I felt like I really needed to make this video guys Let us be wise with our time because we have 24 hours a day We sleep for probably seven to eight hours and then the rest of the hours are meant to you know make things happen So guys if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends um please subscribe we need to get to 1000 gosh guys i need your support to get to 1000 subscribers on this channel really i do i i'm taking i'm taking youtube serious this year just because i have quite a lot of nice content i want to release but then <laughs> i don't even want to tell you that social media is one of the reasons why i'm not even serious but guys i for real let's support me please support me share this video with friends that you feel like you know this video will be very useful and please encourage them to subscribe to my channel and so yeah i'm gonna see you in my next video bye